All right, this one's great because they have a U in the denominator. It's not really a big deal, okay? So we just need common denominators before we can add or subtract, right? So we need common factors for both of these or common multiples. So the U <coughs> here on the left, let's zoom in on this. On the fraction here on the left, well, it doesn't have a 5, so we can just multiply it by 5. Now the 5s are at least common, right? But if I do it to the denominator, I also have to do it to the numerator. The 5 just is missing a u, so, but if I do it to the denominator, I've got to do it to the numerator as well. So when we rewrite this, 5 times 7 is 35 over 5u. Minus 2 times u is 2u over 5u. Now that we have common denominators, we can write this as one fraction. Some of you guys prefer to, well, I guess we wouldn't be able to skip a step here. That's it. This one is going to come out as an expression. Whoops, that's better. Not really a value. And that's okay. It wouldn't be 33u. It would not. Yeah, that's a great question there. See, this, uh, this 35 and that negative 2u, they're, they're not like terms because one has a u and one is not having a u. Yeah, this, you'd only use this method for adding and subtracting. If it's, if it's multiplication, you'd just multiply straight across. And you'd have, in this case, 14 over 5u. That's it.